Abby McCulloch, it's great to see you. You've brought a special guest, your sister Carly. Welcome to New South Wales Swiss TV. Uh, you're both respected athletes in your different fields. Can you tell me, have you learned anything from each other or do you push each other? I think that we uh, push each other in some ways, but we also support each other mostly. It's good that we're in different sports because otherwise I know we probably butt heads a little bit. So uh, I'm glad that she's stuck to the netball and I've chosen cycling. <laughs> Yeah, Abby, you're the younger sister in the duo. Have you looked up to Carly very much uh, throughout your career? Oh, definitely. I mean, I've taken a lot of um, inspiration from Carly. She's got a very, very good work ethic. And uh, there were times when I was a bit younger where I was a little bit lazy and I wouldn't get up and do the extra runs or whatever else I needed to do. But looking at Carly, she's inspired me to make sure I am working my best whenever I can. And now I'm where I am, so I'm very happy for that. Now you saying you're lazy, I can't believe it, knowing how competitive you are. Both pretty competitive people. How was it growing up in the McCulloch household? Oh, it was alright. I mean, we did get competitive over smaller, less important things like board games and card games. But other than that, we just supported each other mainly because I think we did go separate ways in our sporting, sporting careers so, and fields, so that was probably for the best. Now, Carly, you're the older sister in, the, uh, in both, as you said. Uh, did you ever boss Abby around? No, actually, I have this one memory where she actually threw a canteen bottle at me and I had to go to hospital so, and get it stitched up right on my forehead. So I think she was probably it the was one. A, it was frozen. It had frozen water in it, so I hit her good. I don't know what I did to um, you know, have to endure that, but um, she was always a bit more bossier than me, I think. It's because I'm bigger. <laughs> And you've got pretty good aim, we know that, Abby. Now, there are two more uh, McCulloch siblings. You've got a younger brother and sister. Are they sporty as well? Yeah, my brother's also an Australian champion in cycling, so he goes not too bad. Um, he's had a few bad runs with some accidents, though, so he's um, just getting over those, and hopefully he'll be back on the bike stronger and better than ever. And our little sister, Mackenzie, kind of follows us around a lot at the moment, but she's into horse riding and does athletics and really just does a bit of everything, which is what our parents always encouraged us to do when we were growing up as well. Yeah, Abby, aren't you her netball coach? I am a netball coach, yes. Uh, they did really well this year, actually. They ended up finishing third, which was a lot better than when I came into the team and took over this year. So I think they had a lot of fun. They learned a lot of new things. So it can only get better next year. Now, you both have also lived away from home to further your careers. Um, did you lean on each other for support and did you have any advice for each other? I think during those times we sort of were a little bit distanced from each other, weren't we? Um, I lived in Adelaide for five years and in the Olympic year I didn't actually get to see my family very much and that took a bit of a toll on me mentally. So coming home I've definitely leaned on Abby and my family a lot more and I'm very grateful and if I do have to go away from home again I definitely will be making sure that I'm not a stranger to them. Yeah, Abby, you've commented to us you've loved being back home in your own environment since joining the New South Wales Swifts. I definitely love being home and like Carly mentioned it's about the family support and the friends support that we have back here it's it's really really good and um, I mean being up in Queensland although I enjoyed it, it the fact that I was completely isolated from my family my friends my boyfriend it was just really hard in those times when things weren't going so well so being back home and not just because I'm playing for the Swifts or just because I'm back home with my family it's just it's a much nicer feel here in Sydney we do love it. So speaking of family, Christmas is around the corner. Can you tell us what a classic Christmas day is at home and also what's on your wish list from Santa? Um, Christmas is a bit all over the place for us. We have to go to our dad's house, then we have to come back home to our mum and our stepdad's house. I need to somewhere in there fit in my boyfriend as well. So it's a bit choppy and changey and all over the place, but we have a bit of a roster going on. So Christmas Eve will probably be at dad's and then Christmas Day at our parents' um, this year. Um, as for my wish list, I've already bought everything that I want, so I'm not sure what everyone else is going to do about that, so I might just have to settle for some money. Is she a horrible person to try and figure out a gift for? Well, actually, she just randomly sent me a Facebook message the other day saying, I want this for Christmas. There was no, um, you know, anything over money or anything like that, so she might, may or may not get it for Christmas, we'll see. Um, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, Christmas Day is fantastic with our family, we love it. Um, it's one of the best days of the year, and we also have a little cricket challenge at home at my dad's house as well, where I think, did I win no, last? No, you uh, haven't won. She hasn't <laughs> won it know. once. She comes this close, she's last ball, she needs to just hit it to win, bold, every time. 
crumble under the pressure. <laughs> And so the Swiss are back into the pre-season training. Obviously, it's a, a rigorous campaign ahead of the 2015 ANZ Championship. What's your training campaign like? Well, I'm actually in my season at the moment. I just returned from Mexico where I was successful in winning one of the races there, the team sprint. I got a very nice sombrero as a, um, as a, uh, as a win winner's prize, I suppose you could say. So that was a bit annoying to travel home with. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping to go to the World Championships, which are in Paris in February next year. So Abby will be sort of almost well underway. Will you? Oh, first game's 1st of March, so pretty close. Pretty close. So um, have a little bit of a break after that and then get into cheering for the Swifts. Yeah, the sombrero will come in handy for that backyard cricket game. Yeah, definitely. And I might even whip it out at the Swiss game so everyone can see who I am. <laughs>